I am Cree from Muskeg Lake Cree Nation in Saskatchewan. I was blessed with a beautiful Cree name in the sweat lodge. My Cree name is Nanantawayaskwayo Yahokapimotate. I am healing woman who walks far. I wish to acknowledge the fact that I live in Calgary. I live in Treaty 7. But I wish to tell you a little bit about my reserve or what I know of, of my family. My grandmother was Caroline Lafond before she married my grandfather, Joseph Gray Eyes, uh, back in the, oh, the turn of the century. And um, my, ma my grandmother was um, a Métis woman who had married into our reserve, Muskeg Lake Cree Nation. And as such, she wasn't totally accepted fully by the Indigenous um, women that were on the reserve. Uh, they were a little suspicious of her because she was Métis. She spoke French and Cree and, and she was kind of walking that bridge in between. And um, because she was a little bit ostracized by the women on the reserve, the Indian agent who was in charge of everything that happens on the reserve uh, thought she would be a very good choice to have for the reserve nurse because they needed to pick somebody on the reserve who would be able to provide medical chest benefits as according to the treaty. And um, so the nurse, basically, uh, her nursing duties were to give out um, uh, cough syrup, um, aspirin, and uh, calamine lotion. And that was kind of the, the gist of the whole thing. Um, so they, they gave my grandmother this responsibility of being the nurse. And they let people know on the reserve that she was the nurse and they go to her when they have any health issues. Unbeknownst to the Indian agent, um, my grandmother was a medicine woman uh, and understood the value of herbs. And uh, I always was quite fascinated. I'd go down into the root cellar and in the root cellar, she had all of these wonderful things hanging, uh, bunches of sage and sweet grass and all these different medicines drying out down there and jars and of uh, not only her canning and preserves, which she was wonderful at, but jars of tinctures and, and potions and things that she had um, that she would use in her doctoring, as she called it. And it was interesting because um, when the people would come to, our, to my grandmother's house, my grandma and grandpa's house, uh, she'd always, you know, have the stove on and have them a cup of tea. So they're having a cup of tea and a bite of bannock. And then she asked them what they want. And uh, usually they would talk to her in Cree and I would just observe because I didn't understand Cree, but I would observe. And they would talk to her and they were quite earnest sometimes. And she would look out the window and she'd look up the road and down the road and there's nobody coming. And so she'd close the doors and just lower the shades and just say, and she said, basically she said, I'll be right back. You go down to the cool, um, the cellar and pick out some medicines and bring them upstairs and whip up a potion. Um, I thought she was very much like um, uh, doing magic when she was making these potions to help people feel better. But I remember I got bit by a bee on my eyelid and my face just started to swell up and it was really painful and very hot. And I remember my, my grandmother just barking orders to, to my aunties and my mom and they're grabbing different things and she made this potion or this, this poultice out of dirt, clay dirt and mustard and, and different things in there and put it on my face. And it felt good because it was cold and it was wet and it was that beautiful warm earth and it felt good. And it brought the swelling down and also kind of sucked out the poison from the bee sting. And um, I thought everybody knew this, but not everybody knew that's how you handle bee stings. So for me, she was very much magic. She was the medicine woman. And uh, she was also very intuitive. And she could often tell just when people are talking, uh, what's wrong with them, you know, where their problems were. And she would help them not only physically with medicines, but also emotionally and talking to them and cry with them and pray with them and smudge with them. And uh, my grandmother was very much a healer. And that's for me, there's a connection there with my name. My Cree name that I was gifted with, with healing, healing woman who walks far. And I try to use my gifts, which are singing and storytelling, sharing and loving um, with others in a healing way. Um, 
the when I sing and drum with my drum and with my rattle. I call that drum medicine, healing medicine, because it connects to your heart. Um, so for me, healing is holistic. It's not just, you know, you get a pill and you're better. You've got to heal your body, very much so, but also your mind and where your head's at and your heart and how you're feeling and your spirit and where you're coming from. And she taught me about that. She taught me that balance, that all things need to be in balance. You can't just fix one thing and expect it to be well. So um, she ended up being the healer and the medicine woman and the nurse for my reserve. And I'm very, very blessed that I've been able to carry on this tradition with my daughter, who now sings and drums and uses her words and her gifts to help heal people. And both my daughter and I walk that bridge between the nations um, with the intent of healing. We know in our hearts we are all brothers and sisters on this planet. You, me, all my relations. And that's not just the standing people or the two, two legged, which is what humans are, but the four legged, the standing people, the trees, the rocks, the grandmothers and grandfathers, um, all of the creepy crawlies and the, and the bees that buzz and all of the uh, creatures of the water. We are all brothers and sisters on this planet, our beautiful Mother Earth. And we need to be grateful and appreciate what we've got. For me, I'm grateful and appreciative from the teachings that I got from my grandmother, my kuku, as we say in Cree. How do you make Cree grandparent potatoes? You cook them, which is grandmother, and you mush them, which is grandfather. So cook them and mush them is grandmother and grandfather in Cree. I share that with you. Thank you very much. Hi, hi. Mia sin. Mia sen, a semina, a semina, e peta kote, giwa no magan.